Hey guys, uh, I'm back after a rough couple of weeks with all our weather conditions and everything. But I've missed you and I got a few new goodies to cheer myself up and I wanted to share them with you. So first things first, I got a new mirror. This is actually compliments of one of my friends, she was going through her stuff and had like a bunch of mirrors and decided to give some to me. And then I placed an order with Mac and I went to Ulta and got a few goodies. So I wanted to sit down and play with some makeup today and show you the new Mac holiday stuff that I got in, in the mail. Anyway, if you want to see how this look will turn out, just keep on watching and you know, subscribe, like, comment, all the good things. All right, so in my one of my weak moments, I was watching an Alexa Chan video and she mentioned that she ordered some Mac holiday stuff and I haven't ordered any Mac holiday stuff things. Again, the lights are messing with me in a while so i decided to go on and see what they have and actually i was very impressed with like the packaging and everything it's uh it's beautiful anyway i didn't order everything but i wanted to show you what i got so it came in a small little package i only got one two three four holiday things and one blush that i kind of wanted so i'll start off with the holiday things first of all let's talk about this packaging right kind of gold and red it's not really red it's more pink this is the outer packaging and the inside is also gold and pink and it's really actually beautiful um so the few things that i got i got the um, Skin Finish Metallic Cream Blush in the color Glowing Treasure. So it's this bronzy color. They have two other ones and one is like a deep um, like red, I guess, and one is a more uh, plummy, berry one and I have plenty of those. Plus I ordered something else in this, in, in this particular order. So I went with this, it was the most unique to me. And it's very, first of all, it is a cream. So expect that. And it's very um, bronzy. Like it's a beautiful bronzy orangey color. So I don't particularly know how it's gonna look on my face, but we'll try it. We'll see how it goes. I do love the color, worst comes to worst. If it doesn't uh, work as a blush, I'll use it as a blush tupper, a highlighter, whatever. Um, then I got, I got one lipstick in um, blush, brush in bronze. It's a very bronzy, goldy collection. Very 1920s, Art Deco, all this beautiful stuff. So it is a um, frost lipstick and it's again, this bronzy color. And I think, oh, wow. It has these beautiful, I don't know if it comes off on camera, but it has this beautiful gold, pink, red glitter throughout. So it's very, very, um, let me see if I can swatch that like on camera for you. Like it's a beautiful bronzy color. I'm very excited. Very holiday y So that's that. And then I also got one of the uh, lip glasses and I love Mac's. Oh, this just smells like vanilla. I love Mac lip glass formula. I have a lot of them and this one is a new color for this collection and it's called galactic glisten lip glass and it's i don't know if you can catch it. it's like a purple-ish uh with gold let me see if i could swatch it gold reflex gold and red oh actually no i'm lying it's gold and purple and blue reflex it's beautiful like look at that beautiful 
so there's that and the last thing I got from this collection is the new um, chroma gray chroma crayon sorry my eyes are just going shadow stick and the color that I got was flirty martini now there are two other colors and one is like taupey and one is bronzy and I didn't go with those because I already have a lot of Bobbi Brown um, eye sticks like this that I love and use all the time and I have those colors so I went with something that I don't already have and it's this beautiful um, let's see if I can I didn't even swatch it yet oh wow it's a beautiful martini green <laughs> dirty martini olive I love it I'm absolutely super happy and excited about that so that was from the holiday collection. The last thing I got was another one of these glow play cushion blushes in the color, let's see, um, Pinch of Marrakesh. So I wanted, it's like a little um, a terracotta -y brown brownish color. And I wanted it for winter because when it's like cold, -ish, cold outside, well, cold f by our standards. These look really nice. I've been really like it's like a reddish kind of a, a look on my cheeks. So we're gonna be trying all these things out. Now, quickly before I forget, I did also go to um, Ulta and I got two things. I got this new Anastasia Bever Beverly Hills uh, mini palettes or what are they called? Um, mini eyeshadow palette and I got mine in the color spice it's just gorgeous and we all know my love for Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow formula these are beautiful we'll go and use this as well on the eyes a little bit and then I got a liner from the company Juvia's Place and I used to love Juvia's Place when I did colorful looks. I always used to buy their eyeshadow palettes because the pigmentation was unreal. They blend it. I mean, it's just a very, very nice, um, you know, uh, company. My, my, their makeup products are really nice and, you know, they're budget friendly. They're not um, like uber expensive, but this is a liner I could not walk away from this liner look how beautiful that is and that is it my friends uh this is all the shopping that i did and um i hope um the look comes out nice let's get into it i once again had to resort to using my ring light because the sun is shining no complaints about that but it's messing with my um filming and I don't want that to be messed with. So I'm going to start off with the Hourglass Vanish Primer. And this is gonna be my last use of it. It is done. It is going in the empties bin, which I'm excited about. And I'm gonna do the face pretty quick. There's nothing new there. I did place an order for the new Mario palette. So hopefully that comes today and I could film uh, that for you as well. So this might come out after that look, but okay. So I'm gonna do the face real quick. I'm gonna list everything in the description uh, as per usual. Today I'm going to quickly do my Max Strobe. What is it? Strobe Dewy Skin Fluid Foundation, Fluid Skin Tint in Medium One. And that's just gonna quickly go everywhere. I just love the way it looks underneath makeup. It makes all my foundations look super pretty. Today's foundation will be the Makeup Forever HD Skin in 22, 2 and 22. I'm not sure, did they change it again? I don't even know. I don't really keep up with make it forever that much but a few pumps on the back of my hand and we're quickly going to just spread that all over my face make sure it's nice and even I do like this foundation it was I don't have a darker color so I did not use it throughout the summer but now that I'm losing a lot of my tan, I do 
want to use it and I think it's kind of on its last leg so I'm gonna try to use it up my goal this year and you know for the end of this year and the upcoming year is to kind of try to use up what I have before I buy anything really new as far as like foundations and primers go and all of that nice stuff because it's just such a waste, you know? I buy all these things and they're just sitting there wasting away. Let me know, what if I move this away a little bit and do it this way? Let me know if the lighting is working for you guys because I really do love to film in natural light but I have these shades here that are like sort of zebra shades and if if there's a, if it's sunny outside, you look like a zebra face kind of, but we have our landscaping guys here today and they're just driving around my front yard and I don't want them looking at me weird, you know? Okay, for my concealer, should I do concealer? You know what? We're gonna hold off on the concealer because I wanna do the eyes and I wanna use Anastasia. And I know that's a going to have fallout. So let's start with um, what I got for blush. Let me see, do I do, let's do a little cream bronzer. And for cream bronzer, we're gonna use my handy dandy NARS. Oh, where is my cream bronzer? Here we go, no, that's, here we go. And I'll just quickly go put that here. I'm almost done with this, guys. I cannot wait to be done with it so that I can move on guilt-free to something new. That is my goal. I want to use up, again, as much of my stuff as I possibly can. Make sure that there's no harsh lines. I started putting my <clears throat> bronzer, my cream bronzer up a little bit higher so that it doesn't travel down as much when I, oh, when I blend it out. Okay, that's done. Now, what I want to do and what I have in mind is I want to use the pinch of Marrakesh, just a tiny little bit, and then I want to use the bronzy um, glowing treasure on top of that. I wanna see how that would look. So, you know what? Let me just show you or see with you how this would look on its own, and I want to get a clean dense brush so this is a cream and I'm just going in there and I want to see how it looks on its own can we see hmm it's shiny but there's very little color payoff so what I'm gonna do is just to have it even on both sides. I'm gonna put a little bit on here as well. And then I'm gonna go into Pinch of Marrakesh and I'm gonna put that just right here. Wow, that is pretty. Okay. That is a nice bronzy color I like it I like it okay and then on top I'm gonna put a little bit more of this like right here very nice and glowy cheek in my opinion and I'm gonna put a little bit over here it's bronzy enough okay so that is the look for of the cheeks. Now I want to go in with my concealer, which will be this MAC 
for a long wear. Duh. So again, I'm going to mix a little bit of the Pro Longwear Concealer with the Glow Skin Tint, if I find where I'll put it. Woosa, Sasha, Woosa. Oh, here it is. <laughs> right in front of my nose, as per usual. A little bit, and then I mix them. And then I'm going to deposit them under my eyes. And I find that when I, I've been really liking to do this, when I mix them, it looks really, really nice later on and not as drying. And just like that glow, that reflection that you get underneath um, your eyes from the skin tint is just beautiful. Put a little here because I feel like no matter how hard I try, it still blends down. Okay. Let's go in with my beauty blender. And do that real quick. Hmm. I think I wanted to do the concealer after my eyeshadow, but silly me. Okay, so I'm sufficiently glowing in my humble opinion. Let's do, well, I'm gonna put a little right here. And then we can fix it up a little bit if there's any fall down. So first things first, what I want to do is I want to set my eyes a little bit and I have my NARS crystal powder and I'm just gonna put that a little bit on top just so I set it then I'm going to go in with this new spice mini eyeshadow palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and we're going to start with we're going to start with I really should wash my brushes um, with the lightest color which is here and we're going to use that one Ooh, the fallout but again it doesn't bother me we're just going to put that in the crease old school blending everything in so it's in the crease mostly but it does go kind of more over the eye it's not as precise as you would put like a darker color so that's going everywhere like everywhere in the crease above on the bottom it's going to be our um blending color okay i'm not putting it under because i want to put something else under the eye next so here's here's a little bit before um before i continue a little bit about this palette i guess you would say it has two two matte colors so it would be this one and that one and they their names that they have are a1, A2, A3, B1, blah, 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 B1, B2, B3. So A1 and C3 are mattes. Then we have these like, um, they're not satin. They're just, uh, you, I guess you could say matte with like glitters in them. You can't, I don't know if you could see. So it's these ones. Can I swatch them for you? They're not really showing up as having glitters. Maybe a little bit right here. This one you could see. So they're like matte, but with uh, glitters in them. Not satin, just matte with glitters in them. And there's three of those. You would say A2 and A3 and then A C C1. And then you have your one satin, which is right here. And that is your C2 and you have glitters. 
um, and the glitters are B1, B2, B3, and they are beautiful. Let me swatch them for you. My swatches today are just not good, but I'll swatch them for you right here, and they are gorgeous. Can you t even tell? Goodness gracious. Right there. Gorgeous. So, what I'm gonna do is a little bit more in the crease. I'm going to put the um, A2, which is this color right here. And that's gonna go more precisely in the crease. Let me move you guys a little bit closer. Hello. The Botox has worn off. You now could see all my creases on my forehead. You're welcome. Anyway, so this is more of like a taupey neutral color. And very, 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 very little, little, little glitter shows up. It's mostly matte. Like you could see the glitter in the in the pan, but on the eye it barely shows up. So take from that what you will. And I want to go back into my original, no product on it, just blending it out. Then what I want to do, I want to take an even smaller brush and I'm going to go in to this one, oh, focus. which you see now you can see the glitter more, but I like the color and I know for a fact that the, the glitter particles will not show up, but it's going to go on the outer V, very, very, very small amount because I want to use the glitters in here. And it is a daytime look, guys as much as I can possibly make it a daytime look. Alrighty, tidy. So that's it for the dark colors. Now what I want to do is I'm going to use every single glitter shadow in here. So I'm gonna start off over here on the outer corners, then I'm going to go the rest of the lid in this and I'm gonna put this one in the inner corner. So let's go ahead, I wanna get a packing brush. Do I have a packing brush? Yes, I do. Let's see how that works with the flat packing brush on and then I might use my finger. So we're going to go on the outer corner with this color, that's B1. It's not really doing much with the brush so I'm going to use my finger. That's it with the finger. It's not bad. What if I use Pix Plus on the other eye? Let's see. Let's see if it shall work. Packing it on, packing it on. Okay, with the Fix Plus, it shows up a little better. I have I don't like to use my fingers in, in the eyeshadow because I have long nails and I can't really get into the inner corners, if you will. So now I'm going to use the pinkish color and I'm again going to spray it with Fix Plus because I don't want to use my fingers. Ooh. Look at that, wow, wow, that is gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Wow, I am impressed. All right, let me try to put a little bit more 
of the outer corner thing in here just to add a little more definition these glitters and these shimmers are absolutely beautiful nothing I could say about that but I I do love her um, Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow formula for that so before I move on to the inner corner I want to put a like I feel like a little bit of the deepness wore off a little bit or got covered up so I'm just gonna go over that with that initial the deepest color that I used and then I'm going to blend everything out with the taupey color. I put just a tiny little bit on there and I'm just going to blend it out just so it looks blended out. What do we think? All right, now for the magic. Uh, you know what? No. What we're going to do, what I wanted to do initially is I'm going in and out of focus. I'm sorry. I'm going to use the Dirty Martini, right? Is that what it's called? I already forgot. Yes, they're flirty martini, not dirty. Flirty martini. And I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. So I'm going to go in. And I'm going to put that on the low, wow. lower lash line. Before I do anything, I want to smudge that out. Because I don't really know... How quickly these dry or not so I want to smudge it out because I want it to be a wow I'm really loving this one I'm gonna go in again love it and then I'm gonna go do it on the other eye The quality is good. It, it's very, very reminiscent of the Bobbi Brown ones and the Laura Mercier ones. I prefer Bobbi Brown, but the Laura Mercier ones are really good as well. But this one is, this one from MAC is also really good. Okay, so now that I did that, now I want to go in and put the center... I guess it's goldish. It's it has a little a hint of green in there, so that's why I wanted to wait to put in um, the green Mac from Mac. So now I'm going to put that in the inner corner on the top and bottom, and hopefully, fingers crossed. It looks good. I wish I had like a different, where are all my pencil brushes? I really, again, need to wash my brushes. I cannot find any, any, any pencil brush. So, oh, here, I found something. It's this one from Refer 29 and it's the tiny little liner brush. We'll use that, oh. This one um, is very uh, creamy. It might even be like glitter suspended in cream. I didn't really do much research before I purchased this. I just walked into Ulta and was like, ooh, pretty, coming with me. All right, so am I loving it? Let's blend it in with the pink and we shall see. It's very pretty, very pretty. I want to see how it would look with um, with mascara on because right now it's sort of looking kind of crepey for my taste. But we'll see how, it is definitely a cream shadow for sure. Like glitter suspended in cream if you know what I mean. We're gonna, see you could tell there's a clear line of demarcation, so we're gonna blend it out with the pink. 
All right. That is the eye. Let me move you back. Ah, sorry. All right. That is the eye done. I'm going to go off camera, mascara, eyebrows, and we'll come back to the rest of the face. All right, mascara and eyebrows are done. Let's continue with the face. I'm gonna put on a little bit of my regular powder bronzer, which is my Tom Ford that I'm also trying to use up. So we're gonna do a little bit just to set up, set the cream, not too much. Because after that, we're gonna go in with a little bit more of Pinch of Marrakesh. Marrakesh, if I find it, not here. Hot Miss Express, here it is, found it. Okay, so a little bit more because I feel like I just need, I need a little, a little touch. Ooh, so pretty. Am I wrong though? Look at that. Ooh, ciao. Okay, and a little bit of the Glowing Treasure from the Max Holiday Collection. And I'm just gonna put that right on top. And even though it is not technically a highlighter on me, it just works so well with this um, bl blush gives us a nice little glow so i'm gonna use that as a highlighter and be done with that all right for my lips we're gonna use both the lipstick and the lip glass for the pencil for my eye um lip pencil i'm going to go in with strip down and that's going to be i'm looking in my mirror that's down here that my friend was so kind to give me. Okay. Okay. Lipstick, again, it is called Brushed and Bronze Frost. It is a beautiful beautiful color it's i don't know how to describe it you can't really see it on camera but in person it's it has this the little gl glitter particles that i talked about before they're not really glitter particles you don't really feel them but it's a bronzy base with those glitters on top and they're shining beautifully on the lips but I do want to try the glass, lip glass. Again, it's in the name Galactic Glisten. And it's more purple, which in my humble opinion goes wonderful with green. Oh. Wow, together these look beautiful. Let me see if you will have a better if it'll look better without the light on. Let me turn it off. Mm. Okay, I think that looks just a tiny bit better. Oh, I have a hair. So, this is, oh, let me just do a little Fix Plus. Beautiful. All right, this is uh, the finished look. Let me know what you guys think. Have any of you picked up any of the MAC holiday collections? Because I really do like it. I'm thinking of also getting the um, cooler toned eyeshadow palette because that looks really pretty as well. But for now, this is it. And I'm really loving the way the look came out. It's very holiday. I mean, it's not very every day. I can't run to, I mean, I can, but I wouldn't run to the store to get some milk with this look. But overall, I think it looks beautiful and I hope you like it as much as I do. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and like and comment. Um, let me know if you're gonna be picking anything up from this collection or not. Um, Mac's been really happening lately, so 
I'm into it. Let me know if you guys like this palette and if you want to see more looks with that. See you in the next one. Bye.